back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up your dns record from uh, system.io so this going is this video is going to be very easy for you uh, i just figured out something very easily so i'm going to show you step by step what you have to do and th this this is going to be fun so let me tell you about myself so we are doing affiliate marketing and earning 5 to 10k per month and if you want to know more about it so the description uh, must check and uh, you will find so many links over there if you want to sign up and you can sign up free so all those links are free to sign up and and uh, if you want to know about more about uh, affiliate marketing uh, we do mentorship as well and the link will be in the description to check out so okay let's dive into the video so what we have to do we we just have to make a account on namecheap and you must have bought your uh, email and domain as i showed in my another video so you will find another video in my video section uh, like how to buy domain and email okay so on the other hand you will you you uh, you must have your dashboard ready and uh, i'm going to uh, walk you through from here as well like how you can set up your custom domain and email marketing email uh, forwarding as well so okay so first of all you have to you have to come here so this is your section like uh, you have to go to the dashboard main dashboard of the name chip so i hope you have bought your email and uh, email and uh, domain already so let's go on the domain list okay you will see here okay so easy as that so j you just have to click on manage here once you see your domain and this uh, this could be alert at the moment because uh, we haven't set up our DNS record and it, this will be active once it's done and this should be on auto renew okay so we will click on manage and simply okay so simply come on advanced advanced DNS okay so this is where we are going to do most of the stuff so I already have done it for you but I'm going to show you where this all uh, came from so let's get back to the system.io so you just come in the settings okay so what what you have to do here you have to come in the custom domain first okay so this is your custom domain so as you can see my custom custom domain is already ready and it's ready for use but it wasn't ready before because i had to i had to um, make set up dns record so i already have done it so you will have uh, you will have only this one at the moment and you won't have this one so to bring a new one so what you have to do you just have to click on add domain okay so uh, i only have a one add domain uh, limit so I won't be able to do this so once you once you click on add domain you will see a section here you just fill up your uh, domain like www dot whatever you, is your domain on the name chip uh, like this one okay so you just click here and fill up your domain and you will have this kind of thing okay so what you have to do you just uh, go back here and you you click on uh, add a new record so you will add a new record here and and select c name record okay so i'm going to show you like this is going to be very easy so you can match up with me as well later on you know so this page is here and you can pause the video and you can watch over again if you don't understand anything okay so what what we have to do as you can see i have a uh, copy paste this one and uh, this one so the, we have to copy this one like www dot so copy this okay so we fill up in the host so i'm going to do the same of these like uh, this one and this one going to be same as i'm i'm going to show you how it's going to be done so you just uh, so in the host uh, put www from here and you copy this whole thing okay copy this whole section and fill up here in the next part okay as you can see this is same this is same this is same this is same okay so once you're done you just uh, click on tick i won't i i won't i won't be ticking this because i already have done it so i will i will be uh, like going uh, going to jump on the next one so okay so the next one is next one is this one so this is your domain and do not copy your domain so back of the domain copy all the stuff 
and copy and bring over here like paste it here okay so in the next one same thing copy this whole section okay copy and paste in here and click on tick okay now you have two things you have this one and you have this one so rest of the three one uh, we have to bring it from uh, over there so let me just uh, erase this one for you and okay so where that one come from so once you filled up this one you will see your domain over here once once you filled up over here and tick tick okay two times tick tick and you just uh, come here and refresh and you will see your domain here and it will be showing pending so why it's pending so they will they will uh, organize everything like dns they will check everything by into the online system and you will have a pending so once it's ready to use you you just come here and and click on tick click on tick and you will have uh, you will have your domain in your funnel i'm going to show you in a little moment so let's get back to the video and after this one we come in the mailing settings okay so as you can see this is verified it wasn't verified like before it was on pending and they took like us i think 12 hours to make it verified so what what you have to do so you will see uh, a setup domain authentication over here so what i did i just filled up my domain here and make sure don't put www and you hit continue and if doesn't go just put www sometimes it happens it doesn't go so make sure you put www or don't put www let's see how it works so you work it out yourself and continue once you continue you will have a option like this like a i so this whole stuff we have to bring it over here again so as you can see so we have to copy this first one back of our domain copy this one okay and paste in here uh, one second something happened let me refresh this page for you guys okay so in the in that moment let me show you something else so okay le let me cancel this page okay let me open new one and chip okay so let me go straight away into my list dns advanced okay let's get back here again so something happened like uh, okay so no need to worry so you have to do the same thing copy this one okay bring it here paste it here and like you add a new record select c name and paste this one in this section and copy this paste in here as you can see same thing okay so pick up this copy this one and paste in here Op uh, get a new one paste in here and you you do the uh, same thing with the both of them so you have to bring all five over here so you will have a text one as well if you refresh it will be gone after this five filled up you, if you refresh like you have to do tick and tick every everything tick okay then after what you have to do so you have to come down a bit and make sure this is on email forwarding not on private email email so uh, email forwarding make sure this one is turned on and you have to make your now uh, mailbox for email forwarding so for that you will so this is done so you will have a pending pending option here as well and make sure uh, okay le let's get back here so we come in the pri private email okay so what you will see here you will see your domain over here and this is your starter pack so this because uh, because we ha we have this because uh, we have to send emails we have to collect emails and this is going to be very helpful for you uh, that's why we buy email and domain all together so once you here you just click on manage if you don't if you don't see like this you you will have a you will have something create a mailbox 
so i have already done it so once you once you see once you come here you will uh, you will see a uh, create mailbox option so you just click on create and you put your uh, you will see your domain uh, like something like add your domain and and before that you you just fill up your alias so alias is like a, it can be contact it, it can be info it can be uh, uh, uh like anything else like contact info so you have to fill up something so make an uh, like a email like this you have to make something like this okay so you they will give you this one in the next in the other option but you have to write something like this info okay once you write that one you they will ask you to create a password and create a password and then you will have something something like this so make sure you you come on you come on the catch all mailbox you just uh, select this one once you have uh, made your uh, mailbox and you will be able to able to check your mailbox as well you will have your manage alias and change password turn off remove and once you once you click on open web mail so this is this is your private email so this is the old one and, and my one is new one so info at uh, okay let, let me let me open the old one okay uh, just one second i did something else okay you just uh, click in here and they will take you to your private email okay so this is your private email section so you will have something like this okay let's delete this one and come back and i hope it's everything is done over here and uh, it, this will be active as well this is on trial mode so two months free trial and then after they will charge you for one one year uh, like 14 and 20 dollars something and they have, that's it the, uh, for the one year so let's get back to the to the system.io so let me show you here as well so make sure you fill up your new email over here and your name here and you just your test email so and make sure this one checked and this one is unsubscribe and let's get back here again to make sure everything is okay so you you just can tick over here once your uh, domain is ready you just use it okay so let's get back to the i'm going to show you how you can uh, set up your campaign rules and workflow so this is going to be very easy and fun and let me guide you through the campaign first okay so i hope you have made your funnel already and your funnel is already done and you will once once your domain is ready to use you will see your domain over here i didn't okay let me quickly show you how you can done as you can see here it's like navjot australia 2015 system.io once you go once you go on settings and once you go on custom domains okay once you click over here okay this will be this will be uh, showing in my funnel right now this so before this was showing this one now we'll show this one let's check it okay I, I i think i have to make a new funnel over here so that's why it, it's not showing at the moment so once you make a new funnel and you you will have your domain over here or you can just refresh it i think this this should be working okay it's not working it's all right so you you just guys make a new funnel and delete this one so this one was for demo that's why i had to i had to show you guys how you can make a campaign as well so let's get back on the campaign so i have make a campaign over here so you just simply come over here and create and you just write simple steps like seven steps free ebook you just cl click on save campaign and then you will have campaign like this and after that you you will come on the rules okay so once you here you just add a new rule click on add rule and okay so they are not letting me add a rule because i already have a out of limit so i only can make one automation rule once you once you click on rule you will see uh, you, you you have to take a action subscribe to campaign and this will be all done once you done that so you will come in your workflow okay so in the workflow you can you can uh, come here and uh, click on create 
and write this one and just simply create okay once you once you create it uh, you just go inside of it okay so once you inside you will have something like this create your first trigger and you just uh, choose a trigger you have to send an email uh, actually you have to uh, do the third one funnel from subscribed okay select the action and create uh, see so this is this is already uh, done and this is very easy now here and you just click on plus and action and you can you can uh, send an email and you just uh, click on create a new one and you can write uh, anything here is ebook i have showed in my another video so don't need to worry so i have uh, guided you through all over this and you just click on save and edit and you will be inside here and you can just write something over here in the body and like uh, here is your ebook okay so make sure your name name is written over here and your email new email address and the subject of the book and just click on save and make sure you put the link as well in the so as you can see this is post how to do activate okay so you just come out and you will see a little green button to activate and make sure you activate this one as well i'm going to delete this one so this was just for demo and I think everything is done so that's all you have to do you just have to wait until until they are verified mailing settings and this will be verified and custom domains and this will be ready to use and that's all guys that's all you have to do and I have made a video on how to create a funnel and I walk you through in my last video and thank you so much for staying with me and have a good one and make sure you uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't and if, if you like this video please click a like button and hit the bell button for the for the future contents and and once again uh, we do affiliate marketing and earning 5 to 10k per month if you want to know more about it about it uh, the desk uh, the link will be in the description to start and sign up uh, with the new email thank you so much for staying with me i will see you in my next video thank you bye bye